Hi, I'm Dr. Elliot Adam from ElliotOracle.com. I'm also the author of the best-selling Fearless Tarot and Tarot in Love, Consulting the Cards in Matters of the Heart, both of which are available from Llewellyn Books. And I also have some signed copies available on my website, ElliotOracle.com, if you're looking for the perfect gift. And it is time for this week's Oracle Reveal. So yesterday on YouTube and Instagram, I placed up a photo of three different animals, and I asked you to use your intuition and just ask yourself which animal's calling to you because that animal has your message. And the three animals were the honeybee, the cardinal, and the condor. So if you're just joining me now, ask yourself which animal's getting caught in your head because that animal has a message for you. First card is the honeybee, and this card says, let compassion and forgiveness be your top priority in the situation. And honeybee is a cooperative uh, animal. It works with the other bees to make the sweetest honey. And so this archetype could be something you're attracted to when you're trying to accomplish something, but you're needing to work with others. You might need to let compromise come to the forefront. Or it might also just be a time to think more about, well, what does the group need or what does the organization need rather than what do I want to say or what do I want to do? This could also just be a time when you're kind of selfless and you're looking at the needs of others more than you're really looking at what you're really wanting at this time. First card for honeybee is where it's best to place your focus this next week. And we get the seven of cups. And the seven of cups for me is a card of dreams, fantasies. It's a card that will kind of lull you into this sense of like, oh, wouldn't it be wonderful if I won the lottery and that everything would be great? Or wouldn't it be great if some famous person saw me and appreciated me and then suddenly my life would change? And yet you're just kind of sitting there dreaming and nothing's working, nothing's happening. So Seven of Cups will tell you it's time to dream big, but then it's time to put the shoe leather into it and actually get that dream to work in the real world. This could be a time to not be too passive. And also with that honeybee message, that hive mentality, this could be a time to really work with others to get what you want to go. Also, Seven of Cups can sometimes indicate that there is a major dream that you're really needing to encapsulate. Uh, you might have this beautiful castle in the air that you're envisioning for yourself, but always the message is to build the foundation beneath it. So I just think that this is going to be a time to really ground your dreams, manifest them in some sort of reality by taking action. The B is the busy one. And so this could be a time to get busy. Second card is advice from your inner wisdom. And we get another cups card, but here we got the Ten of Cups. And your inner wisdom is telling you with the Ten of Cups, which is always the card of happy resolutions, uh, you know, happily ever after. This is saying that, you know, whatever you're feeling right now, whatever you're feeling is important, your inner wisdom is telling you that this can really change your life. It can really make things better. There is hope for that. But you do need to take that action. Also, the Ten of Cups is another relationship card. It has to do with partnerships, harmony, working with others. And you'll notice you have two cups cards this week. There's a lot of feelings going on. And feelings can be really wonderful fuel for getting where you want to go, but they can also be horrible obstacles if you get too stuck in them or you're floundering in your feelings too much. So I feel like you're needing to remember what the prize is. What is it that you're trying to achieve with that Ten of Cups? And know your inner wisdom is telling you that it is still possible for you. But you do have to take action. You can't just wish for it and hope that it's going to come. You really do need to uh, put in the effort. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you with that effort is Hestia. She's the goddess of the hearth and the home. And you know, it's interesting, I, I always associate with the Ten of Cups with the happy home energy. Same with Hestia. She can indicate that this is a time to clear out your environment. Our physical environments are mirrors of our brains, what's going on in our head. And if you're looking around at your physical environment and you're not liking something, well, maybe it's time to bring some harmony to that thing. It might be time to clear out the clutter, do some cleaning. Um, and in turn, it's kind of like you're also clearing out the clutter internally. And I think that's what's really going to pave the way uh, towards something better. And also Hestia can just indicate that it's time to enjoy your home, snuggle up with a great book, get clean clear. Give yourself what you need to recuperate and rejuvenate yourself before you go back into the world and try to create these wonderful things. Next, we're going to go into the Cardinal card. And this card says the polarities of your spiritual pursuits and physical pleasures are out of balance. So do whatever is necessary to bring them back into equilibrium. 
And cardinal, you know, it could indicate that, yeah, one side of your life is uh, lopsided. Maybe you're just too much in the meditation and too much in the spiritual guruism and you're neglecting to pay your bills or do something very practical. Or maybe it's the opposite. Maybe you're just in this daily grind. You're constantly working on getting ahead and you're forgetting to recharge, go back to your source. For me, my interpretation of the cardinal, you know, where I live in Wisconsin in the winters, um, you know, it gets very uh, white with snow and cold. And the one splash of color you see is that red cardinal just darting through. And so this could just be a time to, to bring that little spark spark of light uh, to the thing that seems like it's just washed out. It's just all the same. You might need to stand out a bit more this next week. First card for Cardinal is where it's best to place your focus this next week. And we get the Four of Cups. This card says, accept the good thing that's being offered to you and don't judge it by face value. Um, most decks show the figure under the tree and he's kind of not seeing the hand coming out of the cloud offering him the golden cup. Four of Cups is saying that there's a gift even in the challenge, even in the thing you're frustrated with right now. This is making you better. This is here for a reason. And so I just think with Four of Cups, it's like find the gift, find the gift in the challenge, find the splash of red color amidst the winter. I think that that's going to be so important. Advice from your inner wisdom, if you pick the cardinal, is the Knight of Pentacles. And he can indicate that there might be a sense of delay with something you're trying to grow. Maybe the challenge is that you're trying to see something get ahead and you're frustrated by it. It just doesn't feel like it's moving forward as quickly as you'd like. And yet the Knight of Pentacles eventually becomes a king. And so too with your goals, the things that you're hoping for, they are going to develop in their time. But this important middle period of learning is your quest right now. Knights talk about quests. And so I think your quest right now is paying attention to the details. The universe is constantly sending you signs, signals, omens, little things that are going to help nudge you towards your best life. And so it's time to pay attention instead of just galloping off to the next thing and hoping that uh, what you're eventually going to get is going to solve everything. Perhaps what you're really needing to do is be present. And then the third card is the, uh, you know, uh, mythic archetype that's going to help you with this. And we got the four winds. And I just feel like, you know, with the four winds, it's like a different wind will blow in at the right time. I just feel like, you know, whatever you're dealing with uh, at this moment, it's time to get clear in your head. The winds represent that element of air. It might be time to get organized in your thinking. But it's also time to accept a truth that for everything, there is a season. And maybe you're just that little bright red splash of light in the middle of the winter. And yet that new season of spring is around the corner. And next we got the Condor Spirit, and this card says you're too enmeshed in the situation, so step back and see the bigger picture before making any decisions or taking action on them. And Condor can represent a, situ in your, a situation in your life where it's a little messy. It's feeling like you're needing some clarity. You might need to spread your wings and separate yourself from it so you can see it in perspective. Uh, Condor is all about clearing energy. And it's also a really open stance, you know, the wings of the uh, Condor spreading out. This might be a time for you to just open yourself to even the challenges that are being presented at this time. First card for Condor is where it's best to place your focus. And we have the gentle Queen of Cups from the Pagan Otherworlds Tarot. I love this deck. It's so beautiful. Um, the Queen of Cups can indicate that this is going to be a time when you really want to pay attention to your feelings. You want to clear out your emotions. You might also just be more sensitive than usual. You might be taking things to heart. The Queen of Cups for me, she's got a little bit of a double-edged sword. The gift of her is that she's so psychic and intuitive and she can really kind of feel everybody's energy. I don't know if any of you are like that, but I go into a public place and I'm, I want to shut it off because I'm feeling the person in the back halls, you know, feelings or the back table and I'm kind of taking it all in. So that can be overwhelming sometimes. And I just feel with the Queen of Cups that it's important that you're honoring that gift that you have to absorb, but you're also taking some time to really process and put up some healthy boundaries for yourself so you're not just inundated with what you're feeling. Second card is going to be advice from your inner wisdom. A lot of cups this week. Here we see the three of cups. Um, the three of cups is a card of charisma, joy. And I'm just getting the message from this card. It's like find the joy and the way is going to be made clear for you. Find what makes you happy. 
Um, maybe don't absorb everything in the environment. Maybe it's time to be a little bit more picky and choosy. Maybe it's time to check in like the Queen of Cups and say, hmm, does this feel good to me? And if it doesn't feel good, why do it? Uh, it might be a time to shift your focus toward what's going to bring you joy and pleasure. And the mythic archetype that's going to help you with this is the Sphinx. Ah, the riddle of the Sphinx. The Sphinxes, the statues of them, they guard the oracles. And so this could be a time where you're uh, presented with your own riddles to solve. But the answer to the riddle is not going to be found in the external world. It's going to be found in your heart. It's going to be found in your feelings. And so I think whatever the question of the day is, whatever you're really grappling with, why don't you feel through it? See what your feelings have as far as input with this thing. It's really going to open up a new reality for you. And that is this week's Oracle. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always check me out and book a one-on-one -on -one reading with me at ElliotOracle.com. Uh, otherwise, i got tons of other free material there at ElliotOracle.com. If you're stumped on a card meeting, for example, there's a lot of free resources there. Otherwise, I hope you all have a safe and happy week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. So do take care.